I have an issue with wigs by I placed an order back in early January. It ended up being March and there was no resolution to my issue because I never received it. I contacted them through email, no response, uh, getting fed up with their customer service, ended up filing a grievance with my PayPal credit and I, I can't recommend this company anymore. I, I there's just too many negative reviews out there and I feel that they're just taking advantage of people. So uh, if you want to get a wig, go somewhere else. Uh, don't, don't go to wigs by based on my experience and others, other experience, other people's experiences. My wife has a mannequin where she, she puts on, um, she does all of her crocheting. And she wants to display some of the crochet and uh, like stuff that she crochets, clothing and stuff like that. So the mannequin didn't have a wig on, so it looked kind of weird, bald. So um, so uh, wigs by I had previous in, uh, interaction with them in the past, like two years ago, and the stuff I got from them received in no timely fashion considering it was from China and stuff like that. So uh, I, I allowed some delay. So I had some good experiences with them. So this past January, I ordered a wig for the mannequin. And um, I noticed over a period of time that um, I wasn't getting it like I was used to. Like I always always, always gave like a month or so to, to ship it to me because it was, it was from Canada. Not from Canada, from China, sorry. And uh, I noticed after a long period of time, it didn't uh, come in time. Uh, they have an order tracker on there. So I noticed that over a period of time that uh, it wasn't moving. So after a couple months of this, I had enough and I um, contacted the PayPal credit company to issue me a chargeback. And and I, I would communicate with Wigs with, with by through the email. And I would get nothing back in cust as far as customer service goes, and that kind of ticked me off. And so I got to a point where I had to call a credit card company to ask to, to issue me a refund for the for the for the, my purchase. And then uh, a couple of weeks after that, the week finally came. Uh, it was uh, early in April that it came. It was the wrong color, and it was cheap material. I, I, it's, it said it was supposed to be human hair, and it wasn't. And it was the wrong color, so I complained to Wigs by about that, and they finally got back to me about that, and I showed them pictures and everything about the difference. Because uh, I had ordered a previous wig with the color that I wanted, and I showed them the differences in color, and uh, they said they would take care of it, and I haven't heard back from them. Did you contact them after that? Yes, I, ha I have copies of the email. Yes, so, so this issue is twofold. Like one issue was I never received it until like three months later, but by then I've already filed a complaint with my credit card company saying I never received it. So it should be a refund, and my credit card did, my, my PayPal credit did refund me the money for the for that purchase. But now I have to now the then Wigs by sent me the wig just like like uh, two weeks after. Um, I settled with my credit card company, and now I have this wig that I don't want, and I'm trying kind of, I'm trying to give I'm trying to return it to them, and uh, I asked for the return address, and they haven't even gotten back to me about that. Like, where do I send this product that I don't want? And you know, their website claims you know the their customer service is supposed to be really good. And uh, what should the company do to make you satisfied? To for one. Um, I want them to get back to me and tell me where to return the wig. And see, this is a really weird situation is, is that uh, I've already, I've called my credit card company twice and cause and they said the, my original complaint was closed. So if I return the wig, 
then like can Woods buy reopen up the, um, the issue with the credit card company because because uh, so I know how it's going to work if they refund me the money because my credit card company is already taking that charge off. But I don't want Woods by going to the credit card company saying, "Hey, uh, this guy sold us money because because he has our wig." But at the same time, I, I can't return this thing because I don't have the address. So I, it's a really messy situation because I, I don't know what to do here because um, they're not getting back to me. I don't know what to do. Why did you choose uh, their wigs in the first place? Did you like them for, for something? Yes, uh, I like the color scheme they had and then... Uh, they really, they have really good deals, and I've had good. I had two past experiences with them that were were good. Uh, this was back in twenty eighteen. Um, so they were running a special run and or first of the year, end of year thing they were had going on, and uh, they had a good special on this one, and that that my my, my wife and I liked, and uh, the color scheme was. I had a previous color scheme of this one. It was brown and it was brown wig with uh, blonde highlights. And I ordered it from. I ordered a color scheme before, so I wanted the same color scheme, and so I, I put in the order for it. Uh, it just I know it was in January when it, January the first week of January when I ordered this, and then. Um, I waited, I waited until March before I filed a complaint with my credit card company because I started reading reviews online where people weren't getting their products uh, from Wigs Buy or the product would come and it's not what they ordered or it was in poor quality and this. So that kind of spooked me out saying, wow, they're, 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 they're man, they're, their company's really gone downhill since the last I ordered. So that's why I canceled that and canceled the order back in March. But what what make what makes it more confusing now is I I they did send me it finally after I after I disputed my order with their credit card company and now the wig's not even correct so just let it go as it is now because I already got refunded but I don't want them coming back to my credit card company saying hey you know we delivered a wig you know you know he should actually really pay us so that's why I want to return the wig so I I, I, I eliminate that. But my credit card company says uh, my dispute was closed and it was in my favor, and um, they said they can't really really open it. But I don't know. I, I just I just want to get rid of it so I don't I don't have, I don't have that liability. I don't, I don't have that over my head and saying, in case they go back to my credit card company saying, hey, we actually did deliver it. I just want it off my hands, and if their customer service is really bad. I'm just I'm just trying to return this product and. Um, and provide me the details of where to, re where to return it. What recommendations would you give to other customers of this company? I, there's other wig places uh, out there. I would have them. I would steer them in that direction instead of uh, Wigs Buy because not only have I had a bad experience with them, but if you go on pissed consumer, um, you'll see a bunch of reviews that. Um, they're not in Wix, Wix by favor. I mean, they, they, their quality's gone downhill over the, I think, in the last couple of years. Their quality of service and their product. So, yeah, there's other wig places where people can purchase their wigs and stuff. Why did you decide to share your story? Well, I, uh, I was venting my frustration and I found your website and, by chance. Uh, I think it was probably from another Wigs by Review that, that was on your website, and I just kind of followed through it. And I just posted my grievances that, um, hey, you know, I ordered this thing in, in January, and I, it's been two months now, three months, and the order tracking hasn't moved because you can track your order online, and they're not responding to my questions. So I, I paid $434.34 for it. I'm like, that's a lot of money, and 
I've had it. I, I'm just going to file this beat with, with PayPal credit. And um, like I said, it would have been fine. It, uh, I mean, I got refunded. I mean, it was all fine and dandy. But then wigs by complicated it more by sending me the wig anyway. And now I'm stuck with something I don't have, I don't want. And I want I don't want to come back and haunt me. So I just want to, I just, that's, and then they're not getting back to me. So that's frustrating. So that's why I had to share my experience. 